Today I'm cooking stew. Traditional stew. It's a kind of chilly April day, April 18th. It's about 45 degrees and uh, just rained a little, so it's, it's oddly chilly out there. Just came back from Whole Foods and I'm gonna be cooking myself a stew. Normally, I would be cooking for my sons and my daughter, but due to the coronavirus, I am cooking for myself. Right here is about a pound of meat, freshly purchased from Whole Foods. Basically, this is like beef chuck stew, whatever. Not too badly priced. Uh, $13.19 for one pound but good quality stuff so I'm gonna be salting it with a little uh, black peppercorns and a little gray bird sea salt so uh, we're browning up the meat here a little bit in this lovely red thing red uh, pot and we used a little organic extra virgin olive oil to give it a little lubrication. A little bit of uh, kikoman, kikoman soy sauce. You don't want to put too much, just put a little bit of this stuff. Gives it a little flavor. Don't overdo it because it's pretty salty as is and I already salted it. It's already starting to smell delicious actually. And I'm boiling potatoes on the side on a low heat um, because I like to do little potatoes, little colorful potatoes on the side, throw them back in later on once they're done. I don't really like to put my potatoes right in with the stew. Um, that's just my personal preference. Now at this point I've thrown in, I have some uh, pre-peeled baby carrots and I've already thrown in a bunch of great tomatoes back into the same pot. I took the uh, I took the meat and put it on the side for now, and I threw this in, and I'm going to chop up a red onion and throw that in there as well. So now I threw in a red onion, very coarsely chopped up, because I have little to no patience to be chopping, and also I am concerned about chopping some of my digits off, as I have no knife skills. So now I threw in a uh, red onion, very coarsely chopped up, because I have little to no patience to be chopping, and also I am concerned about chopping some of my digits off, as I have no knife skills. Improvise. I'm supposed to put a little flour, a little tomato paste or tomato thickener, um, and some wine. I can't find my flour, so we're gonna have to go with a little gravy master and a little bit of uh, Michael's tomato sauce from Brooklyn. Excellent. And a little red wine. I forgot to mention, I threw in a can of canned peas and a healthy amount of dill. Dill is very important. Love the smell of dill. I'm gonna mix that all up. Here's the can, here's the uh, tomato sauce from Michael's of Brooklyn, very good. A uh, little trick, I just did it already. Can't do it on camera, I'm holding my phone. Use a screwdriver to do a quick whoop, and it pops it pops this right open. This is a good trick if anyone does not know. A simple screwdriver goes right in there, do a little twist, and it opens right up. I threw in there, um, not that much, maybe a quarter of the uh, container maybe a little less, just to cover it, and I'm going to mix it all up, just haven't had a chance. And I'm going to put a little garlic clove, fresh garlic clove, and uh, I forgot the shallots, but it's alright, it's too late now. What we did was we put the meat back, I'm going to put a little bit of the uh, sauce, gravy master, and wine over it. So there you got some very uh, coarsely, ah, just picked up the spoon next to the pot, and almost so picked up the uh, straining tool to mix with, but it's perfectly fine. Um, very coarsely, very coarsely uh, chopped up, 
cleaned and chopped up maybe three or four large fresh um, what do you call those garlic pieces um, and it's just gonna add flavor and it's not really for uh, you don't really eat those you know because it's not chopped finely enough so we got that and I'm gonna add a little wine all right adding a little wine very nice uh, what do we got here Corva Giala Vino Producto Italia excellent was, the potatoes are already boiled I tried them out you know I tried one potato I threw them in because you want to have the potatoes sort of take in the flavor of the stew as opposed to the stew taking in the flavor of the potatoes um, that's how I feel about it um, so I threw them in I didn't throw all of them in there's a bunch left over here some of these uh, purple dark potatoes it's a different kind of small potato um, I threw in most of these you don't want to overwhelm it with potatoes again um, and now I'm just gonna cover it and let on a lower flame maybe let it cook for like an hour that's it, covered it, it's about, what time is it? It is 8.10, and um, some time has already passed, so let's just say we check on it again at 9 o'clock. Just to get a little shot of the cooking process, it's cooking up nicely, the smell is very nice, very aromatic, it's a wonderful beef and uh, you know, carrots and tomatoes and tomato sauce and onions and a little potato and it's just really really filling it up as far as the uh, aromatic effect in here